thanks for joining us here on the workbench. Uh, today we're working on the windows and the doors. Here I'm assembling a window. We've got eight windows to build and two doors. Here we're gluing them up and then we're going to put a couple of brads in them and we'll be good to go. And here we have windows. New windows for 2015 for the windmill. Now they only need priming and painting and they're ready to install. Okay, here we made some windows and doors for the windmill. Uh, I used here just a lens cover. It's just for fluorescent lights. I had an old one kicking around. You can use plexiglass, but this deflects the light. I plan to probably put a light inside the windmill, and it's a nice show at night. Uh, here's an old door from my old windmill. Uh, it's got this X ID in it. I thought I would change it out a little. I made this door instead. And it's just a little difference in look. And as you can see, this is siliconed in. And I glued this wood in on top of it. So this here is very thin stock. That's 1 16th. I cut that on the bandsaw and then sanded it. Just put it inside here. And the frame is. This material here, it's all oak, so it should stand up to the weather pretty good. All it needs to be is painted now, and we'll have a nice looking door. Now these windows will be silicone in, so if you ever have to take it out, just take the utility knife and Cut the silicone and pull them out. It's for easy removal. And same with the base unit. It'll be the same way. I've got two windows. I think I'll just screw them in because I want to be able to take the windmill in in the winter time. So right now, as it stands, I'll be removing the old one just to get my base. It's got anchor bolts and it's bolted right down on it. So I need some place where I can get my hands in it. So I want two of the windows that are removable. Okay, we're just gonna be silicone these in. Here we've installed the light here. It looks nice, you know, at night time. You uh, just plug it in on a timer, let it run for a couple hours in the evening. Just reaching in here, uh, fastening the nuts onto the anchor bolts. This is what holds the windmill down to the concrete base. Next, I'll be installing the window. And this window has two stainless steel screws that hold it in. This is a good option for the winter time when you want to take the windmill in for storage. Next we'll be checking how sturdy the windmill is on the pad. I installed the head. Here I just uh, loosening the bolt here and pointing it into the wind and then I'll be retightening it.
Here I'm just attaching uh, the hub to the sail and then I'll be lining it up on the bolts. I'm just trying to slide it on, get it on evenly. Okay, here I've got the other part of the sail on now. I got the aluminum plate there and just tightening up the nuts evenly around the perimeter of the plate. And next we'll be installing the cover. Here we got the cover plate, just tightening up some screws. Okay, here I come, I'm going to install the, the hood over the head and you can see it's the substructure of the hood is wood and it's covered with fiberglass cloth and fiberglass resin. There I had to tap it on, it's a nice tight fit, you don't want the wind be blowing that off on you. Okay, here I'm just checking for balance. Now the heavy end will always end up at the bottom, so you put the weight at the opposite end. You'll have to do both sails to get the proper balance around the sails. Here you can see the wind has just started to put some wind into the sails there. It's turning around slowly at first. Now the wind starts to pick up a little and it starts to go faster and faster look out so you don't get hit. Here we got uh, the brace. Now this brace is for turning the head into the wind just like the real ones. So you have a wheel at the bottom of these braces and this wheel acts as a winch. It'll have a rope or a cable and one or two guys turn it and pull the windmill into the wind. Okay, that should hold her looking good. Here we got the ship's wheel and a spacer and just putting it on with a screw here. Okay, here I'm just plugging in the windmill for the light. No, it's not for electric motor, not a wind generator. Oh, wait a minute, here we go. He's picking up speed. Timer kicked on the lights there for the windmill and I thought I'd take a shot of the windmill at night here. It gives kind of a nice show. Okay, this bill was a little longer than I figured it would be but it's well worth the wait. Okay, until uh, next time uh, here on the workbench, we'll never know what we build next, but I hope you can join me.